the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Muted, Brother Addison. You muted. Sure you muted, Brother Addison. Brother Addison, you muted. You're muted. Okay. Um, okay. What I was saying is, we can't do nothing but preach the gospel. It's the Holy Spirit that's going to do that. That's that's it's it's the Holy Spirit's job. It says right here in in John. It says. Uh, let me see. It says of judgment because the prince of the world is judged. Yeah. It says of righteousness because Jesus went to the Father. Yeah. And because of sin, because they believe not on Jesus. So that's why the Holy Spirit is here. Yeah. Because the Holy Spirit has to do that. We can't do that. We can just share the gospel. And we can't we can't do it by looking at the outward appearances or the results of their sinful ways. We can't pick and choose who we're going to share this gospel to. So if we do that, then we're no different than uh, expecting people to come into this in a particular way. Like when they say, well, I'm not righteous enough to receive God into my life, or I gotta work on myself to be a Christian, yeah. or I gotta stop doing this to be a Christian. That's not how it works, because they will never be a Christian if it's left up to them to fix themselves in any kind of way. All they need to do is hear the gospel, and then the Holy Spirit convicts them not convince them, but uh, shows them who they are, yeah. and then, and then they will know that this is the answer yeah. to them going forth. And then the other thing is, there's no signs following to draw these people and to let them see that this is the way, the truth, and the life. We're, we're saying a whole lot of stuff, but there's nothing. There's that, no, that makes no, no power that makes being sense. demonstrated behind it. That's it. Yes, and that's it. But and see, it's there's, there's, there's power behind a gun. There's power behind money. But that's of yeah. this world and this world system. And even that is and, not and, eternal. And, you, can't, you know, something as you speak. Okay, we, we're going through this, and, 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 and it's all coming back to the same place. The alignment with God is the thing that empowers us. Right. And we can't live a, a life of transgression and expect those powers to even be made manifest in us because you're not working like that. It talks about the, the temple being defiled by what comes out of it. Right. So it's those things that are happening inside of us that's preventing those 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 signs from following. I think, and 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 and, and, and I think that is, to me, that is where that 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 tweaking is taking place even in our in our in our studies and stuff we are literally being taught how to abide in christ how to listen for his voice and how to move in accordance with the spirit right. we're coming to the learning stages of that we are just getting there <laughs> and this you know, for us in this last generation so we just getting where i'm not lying to you because i know what i've been sitting in and under over the last 30 40 years that stuff wasn't even, which this was discussed in the, in the, in the congregation. Exactly. And none of them, whether it was Catholicism, whether it was Pentecostal, whether it was CME or AME or whatever it was, we were not even having these discussions. They weren't happening. Exactly. So now we're finally coming to an understanding of how we align ourselves with God. And I'm excited about that. Right. And, I, and, and maybe I, I, I'm maybe overly enthused about the other stuff, but and maybe even probably so, but when I see something thrown into the mix, that's trying to gain our attention and our flow and our energy that's taking us away from that. In Black Lives Matter, I, I understand the concept, I understand the reasoning behind it, but does it align us with God? There's well, something that got me when Floyd was underneath that cop knee. If God be for you, who can be against you? 
And it's like, are we turning to the wrong source trying to get to the next level? But, but, but once again, like I said, once again, there's two different things, right? That's what Ellen was trying, this was trying to say is if, if, if that is a, that method, let's say Black Lives Matter is being successful, we, we as a church of the body of Christ should not knock that because that's not the church or ministry anyway. It's still, a, it's still addressing a social injustice, right? We should that- knock it. Because what I'm saying is the church still should be doing its job, its mission, regardless of whether a Black Lives Matter stood up, a Blue Lives Matter stood up, whether the KKK stood up. You see what I'm saying is we're supposed to keep trucking. And if anything is going to help contribute to the things of God, we don't need to knock it down. Right? And, and, and that to talk is it to me. The only thing, the thing that will predictable outcome of Black Lives Matter is a predictable outcome of the civil rights movement. Is a predictable outcome of every other movement that was a Christ centered. It's it, it eventually gonna fail. Well, because there's nothing in it to sustain it. The, the, the part, it takes God's spirit in order for us to continue to grow and to continue to to to, to, to improve actually. That implies the constitution. That implies our country too, right? The, the constitution. Well, the people. Right? Those guys knew God. I don't. They didn't follow him. But the words that they put on them paper, I really think that they knew the spirit of God, or they well, knew they God. Had, they, they had godly concepts, but yes. it was not the gospel. Not that the, they put it in wasn't the gospel. And now you're preaching. And that's what I'm saying about Black Lives Matter. It well, ain't the gospel. I love them though. That was but see, there's but there's forces. Oh, the Black Lives Matter that does align with God's word. Right. It does. I agree with you so just take that. Exactly. You know? yes. Uh, yes. But the problem is Black Lives do matter. Exactly. Yeah, I agree 100%. He so, died for it. So, I mean, take that. Right. But now all the political things do it, that has nothing to do with the gospel of, of Jesus Christ. When, when you we, know, when and we, then you being a man of color obviously is going to affect you when you see black lives not mattering. Yeah. Oh, look, you know something that I did learn though, and this is getting so far up to the point I might be wrong in my, my, my perception, my understanding of it. But if it had not been for God, I wouldn't be on the planet. And there, there are, even on a, you know, a physical, a, 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 a health wise issue, but even on a social, as far as black, white people killing me off, the opposition that I have personally faced with our white brothers in, in some position, but then with others too. It's, it's like, if you don't have God with you as a black male, God can help you. Well, you know, that's... I really don't, I mean, in this society, how do you make it? Because you literally have been put in a furnace whose design is to destroy you. Yeah. And I've, I've been, Lord help us, I've seen it. I've seen it manifested. I watched it. We did prison ministry too. I watched the lives of these little children ruin when they were in the second, third grade. Reading the second, third grade level when they in the eighth and ninth grade. Where they going? I watched them in the classroom when they didn't teach them. We had so many distractions and crazy stuff going on as far as policy was concerned. The kids were put in a furnace where they weren't going to want to learn. So this is not something that's new. They've been doing this since the society was born. It has been a furnace for a lot of people, but specifically for these folks that were used as free labor. These people were treated, slavery never changed. And that's the thing that really kind of gets to me. We are still in it. Slavery is still a part of the basic uh, foundations of this nation. It's just really changed the configuration. The cheap labor is still in place. I mean, uh, the, the mistreatment and, 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 and the undermining of, 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 of families is, is still in place. These are demonic in their in their manifestations. If our children are not aware of how to get around these things, they're not taught, they will fall prey to it. It's just a part of the system. Well, you know, I question, I, the question I have, you know, the question that's I have... That's where the gospel comes in. Yeah, and the question I have, Elder, is that uh, the vehicles of dressing those things I don't think we want to put them down, right? Because Bill, I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't do it. It's just not the problem. I'm saying, like, if you 
if let's say Black Lives Matter, it's an example since that's the one that came up the topic. If if that that vehicle didn't pop up to address that, when when was the church going to be addressing? It? Hello, and, hello. And therefore, <laughs> therefore, I should not put them down. That I guess I'm just trying to say I shouldn't put them down because they're addressing something that maybe we should have been addressing and we weren't, right? Church is not, I ain't see the church jumping up and down, white or black church up and down when we see police brutality, but it exists and it's been existing for years. And it's happening to white, blacks and Hispanic. Please. Man, my, my, my thing is this, this, how come the church ain't marching when they're killing each other? Well, that's the whole point. Whether it's white on white crime or black on black crime or whether it's blue on yellow crime, whatever crime it is, whenever it's an atrocity against when it's against the will of God, why is the church, why are we sitting silently by while slavery is still coming And I say this from a historical perspective, why was the church quiet then? Why is the church quiet now? The I church do. is quiet because the church still wants to gain position in the world. Hey, I, do, I got one thing for you. Still I got one thing for you before we get this, get ready to do this community because we're way over time. But look at this. You know oh, what? You know, hey. Ellie, you know what's missing? You know what's missing? Is yeah. taking the examples from the Bible. All God is looking for, and he sounds like you might be one of those people. He calls a individual <laughs> to, to, to be a representative of a movement and establish and organize that movement on his behalf right he used he used from chat he used he used david he used uh samuel he used moses he used abraham he i mean he takes he still even though it's more people involved he still put a selective leadership involved with movements to address wrong you may be that 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 passion you have is that you could be something that pops from the church to lead a movement addressing the issues that you're concerned with. And maybe just locally. Okay. You don't have to be always. Yeah. Does that make sense, Brother Addison? You I, 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 there, there is so many tentacles and avenues and, 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 and veins and, right. and, and, and organisms all designed to keep people in certain places. And so, you can't address them all. No. But you, you can know, address and, a single and, solution. And 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 the 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 I'm talking about individual individually addressing every avenue right. that society is putting pushing against people of color. But it's not only people of color, it's every every, every person. You know, there is a a rich, then there is a middle class and then there is the poor and it's the middle class that's getting dogged out and they're trying to make some noise right now but the the that is just this world system yeah but to address all the issues is to share the gospel because the gospel has no concern of this world and this world system. It is above it and will always be. When you look at the lives of most people who are who, who are in this world and who are standing in faith in it, they exist in the midst of the trials and the tribulations and the circumstances and being pushed down, downtrodden, God is still caring for them and keeping them and sustaining them in the midst of all this. So we, we, we have to be mindful that if God could do it for us, he could do it for them. And there is our testimony. There's our testimony. I, 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 and, and man, I, I think in a roundabout way, we, we definitely are saying the same thing. We are saying the same but thing. But my point is, mind is that, let that folks be singing them. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes from the house. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I, I, that, that, let, let's just focus on Jesus. Let's focus on the scripture. Let's focus on that. And then let that take us above all the surrounding crap. That's I said, folks, like you said. The thing yeah. is, it's, it's the, the, these bodies, these local bodies, churches, you know, 
they're trying to to politicize the flesh. They're trying to establish a a a following. Right. Hey, look, they podcast established a financial support. Oh, yeah, that, and, and that too. But the, the thing is, the is it's, it's, they're all too poor. Right. And so it's it's I look at you know. I was just telling somebody, I was like, I don't, I don't remember no choir that Jesus that went around with Jesus before he spoke. <laughs> you know, or no praise. Right. Yeah. Well, well, they didn't have the Old Testament. They they didn't, the Old Testament. They didn't have the Old Testament. There was a, huh? in, the, in the Old Testament, the Levites did have a job. I a don't job. recall Jesus. No, Jesus didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> having a choir. <laughs> praise dancers, praise warriors, uh, 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 what do you call them? Uh, uh, armor bears. Armor bears. Uh, 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 he didn't have no ushers. Yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> and, and yet, he was successful in establishing 2,000 years later by fulfilling the word of God. Right. So, right. all I'm saying is. The, the 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 local churches that's that's black white hispanic asian whatever most are catering to the flesh yeah yes yeah. yes yes if you want to address social issues just so that is the problem right there so in 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 which is why i always <laughs> end up with this mindset, am I to go into these <laughs> particular establishments and once they get started and get in the midst of it and just be like, you know, like John the Baptist or, or somebody just like, yeah. like Jesus just tossing over the uh, the book, pulling the shelves down in the bookstore that's inside the church. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or when they taking scriptures out of content, should I stand up? You know that is not what God is saying. Now I think I think God is saying is that the the uh, going and out in the streets, using platforms like this, or starting a minister, another church, and then let those people be. You know they both at their feet, right? They go where God calls them to go. That's how you reach them. You know, and you that's what you're doing. Your ministry is to if you got a compassion. Now, brother, I don't know the compassion go into a ministry because I think you probably get that. Then you have a war, right? You have a. Uh, you have well, a I mean, they can call it what they want to call it because <laughs> I'm. I'll be like, am I supposed to listen to you or am I supposed to listen to my father? Right. And the question. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. The question exactly. is, though, because I, I, I think that's something you brought up before. Is it should a should a a prophet, because that's what you end up going and doing is play a role, is to go and say, you're not doing right. Should you go yeah, in? I mean, God would have to actually tell me to do that. Exactly. And then I would say, look, this is what, this is what God has said to this church. Right. Exactly. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Now, and he does it. And he does it is my that. choice. Yeah. Yeah. To go in exactly. there or not to. Right. But you and know if, what? And if 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 no one is inviting me right. to go in, and even when there's an invitation to go visit a particular establishment, which is what they are, yeah, that's what then it is my still my choice to accept it or not. Yeah. But going in, I already have, <laughs> you know, a preconceived idea of what's going to go on in there and so i will be subjecting myself to that well, but even with that i go in and i try to have an open mind there was a time where i was like there's nothing this person's gonna be able to say to me <laughs> as soon as they get started I'm like nah they ain't part of the gospel you know, what, what does this have to do with with edifying my my myself uplifting me you know giving me uh, the authority and the power to go forth and, and share this gospel outside of this local body. 
And then when I get the message and then the message is taking scriptures out of content, I'm basically just sitting there teaching myself. And then I'll be like, I could have did this at home. Hey, now, 